This video is sponsored by The Ridge. Get 10% off your order and free worldwide shipping by going to ridge.com slash nameexplain and by using the code nameexplain. Here we have a nation with an iconic shape, a seriously rich history and a beloved culture. If you mention this country to pretty much anyone on the planet, they'll be able to reference something about it. From the Romans to Da Vinci to pizza and pasta. This seems to be a nation that everyone knows and will be able to say its name, with that name of course being Italy. Everyone knows that this country is called Italy, who is going to argue with that? Well, hello there. I'm here to burst that bubble for you all. Yes, despite the fact that everyone knows this country is Italy, it isn't really called Italy. And while I'm focused on just poor old Italy here, many countries around the world aren't really called what we call them. Well, okay, they kind of are called what you think they're called. Thanks for falling for my clickbait. You're here now, so why not stick around and see what I'm going to wrap on about this time. Names like Italy, France, Germany, Brazil, China, Kenya, and pretty much every other country name you can think of aren't their official names, but rather their short names, as most countries actually have two names, their official name and their short name. So let's go back to Italy. This name of Italy is the country's short name. So what is Italy's actual name? Is it something completely different? Is the country secretly still called Rome due to some old law that never got changed? Well, no. In all honesty, this different name isn't that exciting, with the short name being Italy and the official name being the Republic of Italy. In fact, most countries' official names are the short names that we all know but with some other words added to the start or end of it. And as we saw with Italy, the most common of these are Republic. Tons of countries have Republic in their official name, either being the Republic of so-and-so or the so-and-so Republic. Take Iceland and France, which were officially called the Republic of Iceland and the French Republic, respectively. Note how with France, the word France is not on its official name but French is instead. We'll talk about this later. The word republic itself comes from the Latin res publica, which is a combination of res, which means affair slash matter, and of course publica, which obviously means public, as a republic deals with the affairs and matters of the public. By definition, a republic is a form of government where the location is ruled by representatives of the citizens, as opposed to being ruled by a single monarch or anything like that. Many nations are ruled like this, so it makes sense as to why so many countries have republic in their name. Even countries that don't have republic in their official name have some form of representative democracy. As well as there being countries that have republic in their official name, there are variations of republic too. The most common variation of republic being democratic republic, such as the democratic republic of Timor-Leste. This can even expand into the people's democratic republic, or also the people's democratic republic of Algeria. And sometimes the democratic part can be removed with the country having just the title of people's republic, like with the people's republic of Bangladesh. I read that democratic republic is defined as a nation that has both a republic and a democracy while People's Republic is given to countries that have or have had socialist governments. However, they aren't the only kinds of republics. Germany's official name is the Federal Republic of Germany, Nigeria too is the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Nepal is the Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal. Federal is defined as a formal government in which power is distributed between a central authority and a number of constituent territorial units, so this must be how these countries run. Brazil is almost called the Federal Republic of Brazil, instead it is called the Federative Republic of Brazil which is a word that relates to federal. Though there are more republic variations too. Egypt is officially the Arab Republic of Egypt. Afghanistan, Iran, Mauritania and Pakistan have the Islamic Republic of in their official names. Guyana is officially the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Uruguay is officially the Eastern Republic of Uruguay. Venezuela is officially called the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. And Vietnam's official name is the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. So yes, there are quite a few nations that have republic in their name one way or another. Though countries aren't just republics. There are countries that don't have republic in their name at all. Another popular one is kingdom, like how Belgium is officially called the Kingdom of Belgium and how Saudi Arabia is officially called the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And of course, kingdom means a country is ruled over by a king or queen. Even if nations have kingdom in their official name, they aren't really ruled over a monarch in this literal way. It's more a traditional thing. After a quick Google, it seems that even though Belgium have a king, it doesn't seem he has complete control over the country. In the same way, the queen doesn't have much actual power here in the UK. The country of Jordan takes this a step further as their official name is the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, with this name signalling out the royal family's name of Jordan, the Hashemites. Kind of like a kingdom is a sultanate, which is the name of somewhere ruled over by a sultan, and the only nation on earth we have with sultanate in its official name is the Sultanate of Oman. Kind of like a kingdom is a principality, which is a state that is ruled by a crown prince. There are only two of these left on our planet, these Andorra and Monaco, which are officially called the Principality of Andorra and the Principality 
principality of Monaco respectively, and also on a planet with a single country that is a Grand Duchy, which is a land ruled over by a Grand Duke or Duchess, with this being the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, whose current monarch is Henry, Grand Duke of Luxembourg. The Commonwealth is a collection of countries that tie back to the British Empire, so needless to say that many of the countries in the Commonwealth were once part of the British Empire, and of course the UK themselves were part of that empire. However, even though many countries are part of the Commonwealth, only three have Commonwealth in their official name. Those being the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, the Commonwealth of Dominica, and the Commonwealth of Australia. Why just these three have Commonwealth in their name, I don't know. At least Australia decided to show a flick of creativity with their naming this time. And while I've mentioned the United Kingdom before and it could be seen as a kingdom country, I'm putting it in a different category of United countries, along with the United States of America and the United Arab Emirates. It's interesting that most nations with United in their name are usually shortened to abbreviations, like how these three countries are commonly known as the UK, USA and UEA. However, one that doesn't get this treatment is Mexico, as its full official name isn't the Republic of Mexico or anything like that, but rather its official name is the United Mexican States. I wonder why this country didn't become more commonly known as the UMS as opposed to Mexico. I imagine it's because Mexico as a name has a long legacy and history behind it. Many countries simply have stated their official name, such as the state of Kuwait, the state of Libya, and the state of Qatar. Two countries have an independent state in their official name, these being the independent state of Papua New Guinea and the independent state of Samoa. Bolivia, however, is officially the plural national state of Bolivia. This word means a state containing a large variety of people of different nationalities. And finally, we have Switzerland, whose official name is the Swiss Confederation, with a confederation being defined as an organization of different groups of people working together for business or political reasons. However, you may have noticed that's not always the actual short name of the country that appears in its official name, like we just saw Switzerland and the Swiss Confederation. We also mentioned this to France actually being called the French Republic, and Mexico actually being called the United Mexican States. This just seems to be a quirk that some countries favor instead, using the adjective form of their name as opposed to using the nouns they have. This also includes Argentina, which is officially called the Argentine Republic, Czechia, which is officially called the Czech Republic, Gabon, which is officially called the Gabonese Republic, Kyrgyzstan, which is officially called the Kyrgyz Republic, Lebanon, which is officially called the Lebanese Republic, Slovakia, which is officially called the Slovak Republic, and Tugo, which is officially called the Tugalese Republic. However, the biggest variation between short name and official name has to go to Greece, whose official name is the Hellenic Republic, which calls back to a different older name for Greece. In fact, it was this huge difference in short and official name that sparked my idea for this video, and I mentioned it in my video about the Greek islands. For once, I actually got around to making a video that I hinted about making in a previous video. Why do countries even have these long official titles if no one hardly ever uses them? Well, I couldn't find an answer, but I imagine it's because countries have to have a title like Republic or Kingdom in their name to help define the massive land they are. But as these names are rather long, these short names came about too, as they're just easy to say, with these long official names probably only being used in official documentation or during important events. Though maybe I'm wrong in saying that countries need these titles to help define them, as while many countries do have these official names, some countries simply don't. Their official name and short name are one and the same. An example, Japan is simply called Japan, New Zealand is simply called New Zealand, Canada is simply called Canada, and while the country is known as the Republic of Ireland to help differentiate it from Northern Ireland, according to the UN, its official name and short name is just Ireland. And while these countries may not have these official long names, some countries don't even have official short names. I presume that UK and USA were the short names for the United Kingdom and the United States of America, but no, these names aren't actually official despite how commonly you hear them being used. And while the Republic of the Congo has the official short name of just Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo has no short name, I guess to help stop confusion. If someone just refers to a nation as Congo, we can presume they're talking about the Republic, not the Democratic Republic. And of course, for the longest time, the Czech Republic had no short name. Finally, how have they got a short name in recent years with Czechia? So, while I started out saying how Italy isn't really called Italy, it kind of is and isn't at the same time. In all honesty, I just find it super interesting how all these countries we think we know their names of have these secret long names too that you may or may not have known about. Some pretty simple ones like with Italy and the Republic of Italy, and some that are seriously different like Greece and the Hellenic Republic. There will be a link to all these official names of countries down in the description, so why not check it out and see what your country is officially called and let me know down in the comments. Now, I must say thank you once again for sticking around despite the horrendously clickbaity title of this video. I guess this video would have the official title of The Official Names of Countries Explained, but as we stated in this video, official names are kind of a mouthful. So let's stick with smaller, catchier names. Official country names were suggested by Joshua 
Joshua L. Andrews, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as Name Explains patron saint of official country names. Do you have a good idea for someone that's name could be covered in a Name Explain video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a Name Explain Patreon saint. Also, a huge thank you to The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. The Ridge makes really cool everyday products at a quality you definitely don't see every day. Their most popular product is The Ridge Wallet, a wallet unlike anything I've ever seen before, made of metal with a sleek, minimalist design. The Ridge were kind enough to send one over, and it allows me to have everything I need on me without all the additional junk I used to carry around in my old wallet. I've been using it for a few months now, and honestly, I can't imagine going back to the bulky mess of a wallet I had before. It's more than just wallets they make, however. The Ridge also sent me over one of their backpacks. As someone who works in a lot of different places, a good backpack is really important to me. And this is the best backpack I've ever used. It has so much space I can store everything I need with plenty of room to spare. And it's so durable that I know everything is safe in there. Earlier this year, I went traveling around Sri Lanka and this backpack went everywhere with me. Seriously, knowing I had a secure, spacious and protective backpack really enhanced my enjoyment of my time in the country. If you want one of the Ridge's awesome wallets, backpacks or one of the many other things they make, then visit ridge.com slash name explain and use the promo code name explain which will all be a link down below for 10% off your order. So why don't you find your next favourite wallet right now by visiting ridge.com slash name explain and by using the promo code name explain. Thank you once again to the Ridge for sponsoring this video. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just a small amount of $2 a month helps in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. Stick around and check out another video and subscribe to up today on all things Name Explain. You can follow myself on Twitter at NameExplainYT. Follow me there and tweet the name Pablo at me so I know you came from this message. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again thank you all so much.